right. Seventh grade, lesson 115. This is on volume, capacity, and mass in the metric system. Let me kind of share something with you. Write these three words down. Volume, capacity, and mass. Okay? Volume, capacity, and mass. Now, whenever we're working with volume, you're usually going to be measuring something um, like centimeters, kilometers, um, centimeters, whatever. You're going to be measuring, and so um, what it's going to end up being is things like centimeters cubed, millimeters cubed, kilom kilometers cubed. And the reason why I say cubed is because volume, you are multiplying three numbers. Okay? So, volume is your measuring length, okay, and things like that. Capacity is liquid. You're measuring liquid, okay? This is length you're measuring. These are liquids that you're measuring, okay? And for liquid is things like um, liters, a two-liter Coke, things like that. That's capacity, all right, or milliliters, okay? And then mass is how much something weighs, Okay, something weighs, it's, um, it's a gram, um, like something weighs one gram or one kilogram, okay? So, those are volume, capacity, and mass. And those are the three things we're going to be looking at. So, I want you to imagine, I had a sugar cube, mm -hmm. okay? Now, this sugar cube has three dimensions, Okay? So I've kind of tried to draw it. All right, there's my three-dimensional sugar cube. Okay, so if I were to measure the volume, what I would do is measure the length, the width, and the height. Right? Okay, if I was measuring capacity, it would be the amount of liquid that could fill up a little bitty cube box. And then mass is, how much does this weigh? Do you see the difference? Okay, now, so I want you to write down this. Um, one, one milliliter is the same thing as one centimeter cubed, which is the same thing as one gram. Okay, so it would be like um, one, something that was one centimeter, um, and it, it was a cube, all right, is the same amount as one milliliter, one little bitty drop inside of those cubes, and then how much does it weigh? One gram, okay? So this is good to think about a sugar cube, okay? This is how much it um, is in volume, this is how much it is in capacity, and this is how much it is in mass, all right? Now, that is one thing I want you to look at. The next thing I want you to look at is another form of measurement, and it is one liter equals 1,000 centimeters cubed, which equals one kilogram, okay? And what this looks like is 1,000 sugar cubes stacked together, it would look something like this. Okay, can you see that? Yes. Okay, so if I had a thousand cubes all stacked together, almost be like an aquarium, okay, but stacked full of sugar cubes, I would have a thousand sugar cubes, which are um, centimeters cubed, a thousand of them, that it would weigh, those thousand sugar cubes would weigh one kilogram, and I could put one liter of water inside of those, that sugar cube, okay? So that's what this is about. That's what we're learning. So you're going to need to know these measurements to do these next problems, all right? So now listen to this problem, all right? Oh, and I, let me go on and take this. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Is that LBS? Is something in Latin, but it means pounds. Okay? So one kilogram equals 
2.2 pounds. All right, I don't know much of anything that equals 2.2 pounds, but it'd be something light, maybe a shoe, <laughs> okay? Maybe two shoes, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's a kilogram, just to get, kind of give you an idea of how much a kilogram is. All right, so listen to this. Ray has a fish aquarium. So I'm going to draw his aquarium up here, and you can draw this on your paper if you want to. All right, there's my aquarium. Okay, and inside of that, I'm going to have some water. Okay, filled up to there. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's how much water is filled up. Okay, now, here's what it tells me this is 50 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters. All right. So Ray has a fish aquarium that is 50 centimeters by 20 centimeters wide. And if the aquarium is filled with water to a depth of 30 centimeters, here's the questions. How many liters, how many liters of water would be in the aquarium? Well, see how this is one, and this yeah. is one. 
So that would be 30. 30. 30, 30 kilograms. So they oh. asked me, the second question they asked me was, what is the mass? Well, mass is what? It's uh, how kilograms. Yeah. So the answer to the mass is 30 kilograms. You see that? Mm -hmm. So we used one of these informations to answer the remaining of the questions. All right? Feel like you got it? Oh, yeah. All right, let's try another one. Okay, I'm going to leave this these two measurement things up here so you can look at them. All right. All right. Malika wanted to find the volume of a vase. Where's my vase? Okay. And she filled a one liter beaker with water. So I'm going to have my beaker. Let's go and do that. What it looks like. Okay. So, this is one liter. Okay. This is my base. And this is my beaker. That's what they call it. Alright, so Malika wanted to find the volume of the base. So she wants to know how much is in here. Okay? So what she did was she filled a one liter beaker full of water and then used all but 240 milliliters to fill the base. So she took the water inside of here and poured it into the vase, and it filled it all the way up, except there was still some left over. And how much was left over? 240 milliliters was left over. Okay. Still in the beaker. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I think we should do, since this is, tells us how many milliliters are left, could I change this liter into something? What do you mean? I'm going to change this liter oh, into milliliters. milliliters. Yeah. Because they're starting to work with some milliliters. Well, we need to know how many milliliters. So, what is one liter equal? Do you remember? No. Okay. Oh, so, no, no, no. Right. So, okay. So, from previous lessons, um, well, uh, okay, this is liter, meter, gram, and then kill her dog, don't chase mine. I've taught you that several times before, but this is kill her. Hecta, deca, deca, centa, milla. Okay? Now, so we're trying to discover what is one liter equal. Okay? One liter. Okay, so I'm going to underline the liter, the L right there. And we're wanting to change it to milla liter. So I'm going to underline my milla. So, one liter equals how many milliliters? Uh, thousand. Right, so I'm going to write down that. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So how much is in this case? Uh, yeah, 1,000. In, in milliliters, good. So if I have 1,000 milliliters in here, and I pour it into this base, and I pour all of it except 240 milliliters left, how much did it take to fill up this? 760. 760. Okay, so I'm going to write 760 milliliters, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to go down here because look, I've got milliliters. So I'm going to put 760 milliliters. One milliliter equals one centimeter cubed, which equals one gram. Well, if I have 760 milliliters, how much volume do I have? What do you mean? This is, remember this is volume. Yeah. Centimeters, that's something you measure in length, width, and height. Gram is how much it weighs. Milliliters is how much water or capacity it holds. So if one milliliter equals one centimeter cubed, which equals one gram, then 760 milliliters would equal um, one, one, one. Three. 760, 760, oh, 760. Okay, I See that? Mm -hmm. I've never talked with this, so you're not just going to know. Okay, so since this is one milliliter equals one centimeter cubed, which equals one gram, this is going to be 760 milliliter, 
Well, what does that mean the volume is? The volume is 760 centimeters cubed. Well, how much does it weigh? 760 grams. Mm -hmm. And I used this one this time because we were working with milliliters. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, here's what they say. Listen to this. If the mass of the vase alone, pay attention, the vase weighed 640, 640 grams, okay? Okay. How much does the vase weigh with the water filled too? Okay. So, so both of them? Well, we already know how much water, the water weighs how much? Uh, 760 grams. The vase weighs? 640 grams. So how much does all of it weigh together? Um, about 1,400. 1,400 grams is how much it weighs. Isn't that cool how mm -hmm. you can do that? Okay. And do you understand how we did it? Yeah. All I knew is that we had one liter in here and 240 milliliters was left. I'm just kind of reviewing what we did. Yeah. So we took this one liter and made it what? 1,000 milliliters, right? Uh -huh. That's what we made it. Then we poured it into here and realized that it was 760 milliliters. Well, then we realized, okay, well, if 760 milliliters, well, then we can figure out what the volume is, and we also can figure out how much it weighs, the water, how much it weighs and how much the volume is. But then we had to discover how much does the vase itself weigh, not the water in it. The vase weighs 640, so we added the two together, the water inside of it plus the vase, and it equaled to 1,400. Got it? Mm-hmm. That's lesson 115.